Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is about flying the Vans RV7A. It's a two-seater, single-engine, low-wing, home-built airplane kit known for its sporty handling and high performance. You can install a Lycoming O360 engine that has 180 horsepower. This aircraft will cruise at 200 miles per hour and has a 42 gallon capacity of fuel. I'd estimate about $5 a gallon, so it'd take about $200 to fill it up and get you a four hour range. Take a look at this beautiful glass cockpit. Oh my God, so beautiful. This is Chris' first airplane that he's ever built. He's never built a full scale airplane. He loves RC old school, but this is quite an amazing feat. I'm just so impressed with him. It took Chris four and a half years to build it, and he built it in a garage, his garage 20 by 20. Chris considered the 14, but it would not fit even at an angle to build it inside a 20 by 20 garage, and that's why he built the RV7A model. All right, let's get ready for takeoff. I'm using a GPS data logger and adding it to this video so you can see the real-time information live on the screen. So let's roll it. Chris selected the fast build kit, which he indicated would probably save you about a year's worth of work. Chris installed the Hartzell constant speed prop, otherwise variable pitch. And for avionics, he selected the Garmin G3X IFR panel. The airport is like five minutes from Chris's house, and he was on like a four year waiting list, and it turned out perfect. By the time he had the aircraft finished, he had got the hangar that he always wanted, and man, only being five minutes away, that's a, that's a luxury we don't see very often today, right? Uh, some other information, it's tricycle gear, and Chris indicated that it holds value more than uh, a tail dragger, so he preferred uh, three-point stance. Gross weight is about 1,800 pounds, empty weight about 1114 pounds it has a 25 foot wingspan and the baggage capacity is about a hundred pounds it can climb easily at 2,000 feet per minute if needed and has a service ceiling of 22,500 feet not bad if you got a little oxygen on you <laughs> I'll tell you friends this was an amazing experience this is the first time I've ever flown in any kind of home-built aircraft like this that had this much performance. I mean, at 2,000 feet a minute, I, I just couldn't believe it. I've just never been in that situation where I had an aircraft that could do that, unless you're, uh, you know, in a thermal. <laughs> Not really, but you know what I'm talking about. Okay, folks, coming up next is the landing sequence. It was just sure a lot of fun to fly. And here we are on final. You can see the runway right off the nose there. You can see it. What a beautiful day it was too. Nice and cool, wasn't hot. We cruised at 5,000 feet. Felt like air conditioning, right? <laughs> Some of the other information, top speed is about 213. Cruise at 55% is about 183. Stall speed's around 50. Takeoff is between 200 and 500 feet. Landing distance, about 500 feet, uh, in the case maximum rate of climb at 2,450, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Range in statute miles is between 755 at 75% power. If you pull it back to 55% power, you can have a range of about 925 statute miles. Look at this thing come in. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Let's give Chris a big hand. Okay, now we're at the gas pump. Oh yeah, oh yeah, $5 a gallon. Just give me a couple of hundred bucks and we're good to go. Yo! Congrats to Chris. What an amazing feat. Building his first airplane. Never had experience building one. Uh, I'm very impressed. I've never seen anybody do that. Especially build it in a 20 by 20 garage. But he did it. The next step after this is to go to the paint shop. And that'll be coming up soon. You guys take care. And we'll see you in the air next time. You guys have a great day.
Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.